It's today's news. CBS News on the Hour, presented by Paul Gauguin Cruises. I'm Steve Kathan. The Justice Department uncovers a pattern of violating constitutional rights in the Louisville Police Department. The report finds that LMPD uses excessive force, including unjustified neck restraints and the unreasonable use of police dogs and tasers. Attorney General Garland with the findings and recommendations. This began after the shooting death of Breonna Taylor by police. Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg. The chief and I and our entire teams will do everything possible and everything necessary to correct the mistakes of the past and heal the wounds they've left in our community. And today, the Justice Department announced an investigation into the Memphis Police Department, specifically on use of force and special units after the death of Tyree Nichols. WREG-TV reporter Marcus Hunter says more information and images will surface today. The video will include nearly 20 hours of footage not yet seen by the public. The city will also release redacted records related to the charges and administrative investigations against those involved. The Memphis City Council last night approved new police reforms. A newly formed House panel in Washington is investigating the origins of COVID-19. The Atlantic Council senior fellow James Metzl was blunt, blaming China for doing everything it can to block investigations into where the COVID-19 pandemic started. But Metzl says... There can be no doubt that a research-related origin remains a very serious possibility, if not a distinct probability. Metzl stresses that the world is entering globalization where risks are increasing, including the possibility of pandemics far worse than COVID-19. Allison Key, CBS News, Washington. The UN Secretary General meeting today with Ukraine's president about extending an agreement that allows safe grain shipments during wartime. CBS's Holly Williams. The problem is that the deal also provides for the export of Russian food and fertilizers, and Moscow is claiming that that's still being disrupted by U.S. and European sanctions, even though, according to other reports, uh, Russian grain exports are actually booming. Well, CBS's Cammie McCormick tells us safety regulators have opened a new look into Tesla's SUV. The investigation comes after two complaints that steering wheels have come off while being driven in those two cases the Model Ys were apparently delivered to customers with a missing bolt that holds the wheel to the steering column. Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 177 points. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.